These are the disciplines the prophet puts upon you. You may not harm a woman, a child, or any old person. You may not harm cripples. You may not harm the man that works in the field. You may not cut down trees. Strike only at those who have expelled you, who have stolen your rights and enriched themselves with your possessions. Now, to the wells of better. We have to defend ourselves. You are the messenger of God. Yet they mock, abuse, and plunder us, and we do nothing. In the baggage of war, we are pathetic. But they are led by greed. We are led by God and you. Now, I, I know how you hate the sword. But we have to fight them. They have stolen our property. We are taking it to Damascus, right past our own door. I say, by God, get it back! I am carried away. It's the pounding in my head. Please. Fight them. It is newly revealed by God to his messenger. Fight. But fight in the way of God against those who fight against you. Drive them out of the places where they drove you out. For persecution is worse than slaughter. Fight them until persecution is no more. And religion is for God. But if they stop, let there be no more war. For God never loves the starter of wars. So fight in the way of God against those who fight against you. God is great! God is great! God is great! God is great! These are the disciplines the prophet puts upon you. You may not harm a woman, a child, or any old person. You may not harm cripples. You may not harm the man that works in the field. You may not cut down trees. Strike only at those who have expelled you, who have stolen your rights and enriched themselves with your possessions.
Now, to the wells of Beda. your breath, Zaid. Has Mohammed come down from Adhera yet? He's been out there three days. No. No, we haven't seen him. Khadija hoped he might have come to you on his way home. Then he's still up there. Three days. I'm afraid for him on the mountain because I don't know what it means. Men see the world too well from a mountain. from a sensitive drop of blood, who teaches man what he knows not, read. still trembling under the blanket. But he has spoken. Zaid, what happened to my nephew on the mountain? He was alone in the cave. Suddenly, an angel came into him. The angel said, Read. Mohammed replied, I cannot read. The angel commanded again, Read in the name of thy Lord, who created man from a sensitive drop of blood, who teaches man what he knows not. Read. Who knows if it was Gabriel? It could have been a dream. When Mohammed was coming from the mountain, he saw Gabriel plainly, in the shape of a man standing on the horizon. Wherever he looked, upon every turn of his head he saw him. And Gabriel said to him again, I am Gabriel. And you, Mohammed, are the messenger of God. Who is he told about this? His wife. And Ali. And his friend, Abu Bakr. And you. I am his adopted son. Be careful to whom you talk. Tell him his uncle, who protected him when he was a child, will protect him still. After all. 
They say the God of Moses spoke to him out of a burning bush. desert at night. I know God is not kept in the house. God has spoken to us before. Through Abraham, Noah, Moses, and through Jesus Christ. Why should we be so surprised that God speaks to us now through Muhammad? Who taught you those names? They are named in the Quran. And we knew Christ as a carpenter. What Christ says... And what your Muhammad says is like two rays from the same lamp. They are lying to you. They deny Christ. You worship three gods, they say. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they say. What do you say of Christ? They say God cannot have a son. Christ is not the son of God. Speak to me of Christ. We say of Christ what our prophet has taught us that God cast his Holy Spirit into the womb of a virgin named Mary, and that she conceived Christ, the apostle of God. The apostle, he says, not the son, not the son. What does your miracle, your Quran, say of the birth of our dear Lord Jesus Christ? May I relate the words? Come closer to me. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Relate in the book the story of Mary, how she withdrew from her family to a place in the east, how we sent to her our angel Gabriel, who said, I am a messenger from your God to announce the birth of a holy son to you. She said, How shall I, Mary, have a son when no man has touched me? And Gabriel replied, For your Lord says, It will happen. We appoint him as a sign unto man, and a mercy from us. It is a thing ordained. between us and you is no thicker than this line. There's something missing. Maybe a bell to call the people in. The Christians use a bell? Hmm. What about a horn? Like the Jews? A drum. There's too much blood in a drum. Why not the human voice? As in Omar ibn Khattab's vision. If the prophet agrees. He means you, Bilal. Me? You have a good voice, use it. Climb up there. Allah, 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. God gave this house to Abraham to be a sacred place. Worship no other gods but him and cleanse his house. أشهد أن لا إله إلا So it was. Muhammad took no revenge and allowed none. He declared Mecca a holy place. No one may shed blood or cut down a tree or kill a living thing in Mecca. Soon all Arabia was converted, not only to the new worship, but to the new laws, manners, attitudes contained in Islam. The Prophet had lived to see his work done, but now he began to feel the nearness of death. One great act of his prophethood remained, the setting of its seal. He called the people to him, and he spoke for the last time his message of surrender to God and humanity to man. 
Oh, mankind, listen well. I may not be with you much longer. The weak among you, feed them on what you eat, dress them as you are dressed. You will meet your God, and he will call you to account for your actions. Let those who are present warn those who are absent. You are all descended from Adam, and the best among you is he who most regards God. Think deeply about what I say. Let all your feuds be abolished. You must know that every Muslim is the brother of every other Muslim, and all Muslims are brothers one of another. Between Muslims there are no races and no tribes. Nor must you take anything from your brother except what is given freely. Do not oppress, and do not be oppressed. O oh, my people, I am but a man. It may be that the angel of death will visit me soon, and death will overtake me. But I have left you a book, revealed by God, the Koran, which is light and guidance. Now he repeated to the people the final revelation of the Koran, the seal and termination. Not Muhammad's words, but God's word. This day I have perfected your religion for you, and completed my favor to you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. On June the 8th, 632, in his 63rd year, Muhammad died. Many of his followers could not believe the fact. How can such a man die? But Abu Bekr, the prophet's friend, stood up in the mosque. If anyone worships Muhammad, let him know that Muhammad is dead. But he who worships God, let him know that God is alive and cannot die. They buried Muhammad beside his mosque in Medina. But the religion he preached found its place in the heart of man. It endured. It multiplied. Still to Mecca they come, mankind. The people of Islam dressed in their pilgrim white. All equal before God, all united in this place of prayer. Each individual soul joined in a community of worship. One God.